Radio Freaks, it's uh, Mike again on another video with um, the CRT uh, SS7900 and um, today we're looking at um, microphones and um, we've got three um, that we're going to be trying out today. One obviously is the standard microphone, the CRT M7, um, which comes with the rig. Uh, it's a bare bones type microphone, um, unpowered, so it's just a passive like device. Um, that we can use on it. It's not. It's not that bad actually. It just looks um, cheap and uh, a little bit nasty, but um, it does the job. It does, in actual fact, it does not a bad job. Um, but I'll leave you uh, to judge that when we compare these mics. We've also got the Cobra M75 branded um, high gear here. Um, this is powered by a PP3 nine volt battery. The gain control is on the back here with a thumb wheel type control and um, yeah we'll see how that performs now I did have problems with this initially which I think I've resolved by um, resoldering the connections on um, the um, four pin plug that, that, that come as standard with this it was adapted for a uniden four pin um, connection but some one of the solder terminals looked a bit dodgy and I think I've got a little bit of an improvement out of it so hopefully we can do some justice for the um, uh, the uh, Cobra microphone and last but not least the Capo um, M532 uh, power microphone also powered by a PP3 9 volt battery all right so what we're going to do we're going to test them obviously on this um, CRT SS7900 radio um, we're going to first of all do um, just normal tests on FM then we're going to cycle through AM and then we'll do the upper sideband test as well no point doing a lower sideband because it's going to sound pretty similar um, but I'm using a PL660 um, radio uh, manufactured by Texan nice little sideband radio um, to do this uh, test on there might be a little bit of main sum that you hear and that's because of just the environment we've got set up here I've got a dummy load here I've reduced the power down as far as I can go um, to sort of minimize it and um, it's just the environment it, it doesn't sound like this when when you're broadcasting on air if I was to go and take this some distance away and broadcast via the antenna um, obviously it would be a nice clean uh, signal so do excuse that but it is just the environment that we're doing the uh, testing at the moment you're going to get a little bit of pickup right so okay the connections on this are an RJ45 type plug that comes with the standard microphone which plugs in here on the radio itself um let you have a little bit of a closer look at that so there you go that plugs into the rj45 type um connector here now the only problem with that is um if you want to um put aftermarket microphones on it you're gonna have to have this thing which is the four pin to rj45 um adapter which is on there as well um, i'm going to change this to um, a better rj45 this one is a little bit flimsy i had to do some rework and some rewiring on there because it was cutting out um, but there you go that's that's what you're going to need for um putting after aftermarket microphones on it right okay so let's carry on um, we're going to do um, an FM test first uh, well sorry I'm not going to do an FM test we're going to do AM which is going to sound pretty similar um, simply the fact um, uh, this only receives AM SSB um, upper sideband or lower sideband so um, yeah well we'll do an AM uh, test first let's make sure that the uh, you see, I'm going to have to lower my mic whilst uh, we talk on this one. Okay, so this is the standard microphone on AM. Test one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing the standard CRT M7 microphone on AM mode. Right, so there you go. That's um, the CRT microphone. Uh, next, out of the bag, we're going to try the um, high gear well Cobra M75 mic we'll uh, plug this into the adapter so that um, obviously we can connect it up to the radio using the RJ45 connection and we'll just do that same test again AM using the Cobra M75 microphone this is the Cobra M75 power microphone the settings on the radio I've set to 28 mic gain on the radio so that's the mic gain on the radio is 28 
and the actual setting on the microphone is on six. As you can see, it's getting good modulation there. It's peaking up to 40 watts in AM mode. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. This is the Cobra M75 power microphone. Okay, so that's uh, obviously the the, uh, the Cobra. Now what I tend to do, if you're changing the microphone on this adapter, take the adapter out, don't pull the, um, the wires. Um, you will run into problems if you do. Right, last but not least on AM is the uh, Capo microphone. Uh, we'll do that same test on AM. So here we go for the um, Capo NM532 mic. This is the Capo NM532 microphone on AM one two three four five five four three two one and the mic gain setting is around about a third of the way up on the microphone. So this is the uh, Capo NM five three two mic one two three four five five four three two one. Right, whilst we're on that mode um well whilst we're on this microphone i'm now going to go to usb um let's change the radio to usb mode hopefully it's uh bfo'd in or clarified as they say so let's give this a test on the uh capo microphone usb mode this is the um capo 532 microphone in usb mode USB mode one two three four five five four three two one. Let's see if we can clarify that any better. Uh, that's gone the wrong way, so let's try that. We want to beat in uh, one two three four five five four three two one. The Capo USB upper sideband power mic test. Right. Okay. So there you go. That's sounding pretty good. In actual fact, I'm not. I'm trying to be um not too subjective here in well you know my personal um my personal um preferences with these microphones um that's for you to decide some people like specific bassier sound or uh a less toned down sound of their microphones than others so um like i say that that's the subjective bit of it okay so we're now on back on the Cobra M75 microphone. This is the Cobra M75 microphone on the upper sideband test. The Cobra M75 power mic. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing upper sideband on the Cobra microphone. Right, I'll just see if we can clarify that just a little bit better because it seems a bit high. There you go, I think that's uh, perfect. So let's go one more time. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one on the Cobra M75 microphone upper sideband. Right, okay. Uh, I was trying two mics at once. Okay, so we're back on. This is the standard microphone, so it it's not too bad in actual fact. So let's give that a go on upper sideband. This is the standard microphone. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. As we can see there, it doesn't modulate as well as the other microphones, the other two. The other two were peaking uh, between 30 and 40 watts. This on the standard level is peaking around about 10 to 15 watts, 10 to 15 watts. So this is the standard microphone, the CRT M7 microphone that comes with this rig. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And you really do have to try and shout high. You have to talk high to get this to modulate. Talk higher, not low like this, because it just doesn't push the peaks like the other two microphones. Right, well, there you go. Um, I'm just going to do for the purposes and the demonstrations, we we'll keep this on upper sideband, and I'm going to do these consecutively so that um, you can drop a comment in there what you think is the best sounding microphone. So we're going to go the CRT M7, then the Cobra microphone, 
and we'll finish up on the capo microphone testing microphones on the CRT 337900 this is the standard microphone that comes with the rig CRT M7 1 2 3 4 5 5 4 3 2 1 this is the high gear version of the Cobra M75 as we can see it modulates much better the modulation levels go up to 30 to 40 watts on this rig unlike the standard microphone not sure what you think of the voice quality but let's give it a go one two three four five five four three two one the Cobra M75 microphone and finally this is the um, Capo M532 microphone the Capo M532 microphone one two three four five five four three two one this modulates well as well as well as the uh, M75 uh, Cobra microphone uh, let's do that again one two three four five five four three two one personally I think this has uh, the edge on the tone of the microphone this sounds a bit clearer but it's up to you so there we have it the three microphones the standard one that comes with the rig the CRT M7 um, not bad not bad I've heard much worse standard microphones that come with the rig uh, this is the Cobra M75 this retails um, 30 pounds this microphone um, not bad a um, bit disappointed with the tone of the microphone but again this is my subjective um, feeling on it you might you might want to comment and uh, give a different view but this 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 is quite impressive and this is around about 26 pounds this microphone I think it's on offer at the moment um, for about 26 27 pounds and it's it's a very good clear microphone this is the NM532 so to me this this is the winner the uh, the capo mic um, followed by the high gear of uh, the Cobra I know we've only got a selection of three here including the um, one that comes with the rig but we've already seen on the power meter although this sounds nice and crisp it just does not have the edge on pushing the modulation up as far as you can with these two microphones the the Cobra and the Capo as you can see that the um, modulation is double what you can get on this but the trouble is if you turn the rig mic gain up too far this then starts sounding distorted so with it at its optimal settings here and I say that's between 28 and 33 on the rig these microphones give it a little bit more edge they don't distort they handle the modulation well and it gives you far more punch now on sideband and AM the higher you can modulate the more you're going to get heard and more you you punch above that noise level so that's it for my three microphones i hope that's um help you um subjectively try and uh, find for yourself which microphone's best for you no doubt there's other there's other microphones out there but this was to give you an idea of um, a, a power mic versus a standard microphone and just what benefits a power mic will give you um, in terms of modulation and in terms of contacts okay i'll see you on the next one don't forget please like and subscribe and uh, next time we're doing a general overview on this crt 33 7900 Catch you later.